Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex and welcome back. So I'm back in my W205 2016 Mercedes-Benz C300 because today I wanna to upgrade the steering wheel. My current steering wheel just has a cover on it and it's a flat bottom racing style. And the only thing I've done to it is install some paddle shifter extenders and that's about it. It's pretty much OEM. So what I wanna do is replace the steering wheel with something a lot more unique and custom and I think you guys are gonna love it. And before I show you guys the brand new steering wheel, I wanna thank DMP Car Design for sponsoring this video and providing me with the brand new steering wheel. And if you want more information on this steering wheel, or other steering wheels for your car, definitely go check out their website, link in the description below. Okay, so now let me first show you how I take off the old steering wheel, and then we'll install the brand new steering wheel. I'm super excited. The first step was to drive my car into a flat surface and make sure the car is completely straight. Next, I popped open the hood. This way I can get to the battery because I'm gonna be disconnecting the negative terminal. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket wrench. And once it's loose, I can pull it right off the battery. So now I can go ahead and remove the airbag. I'm going to feel for a dimple or a hole on the side here and here. And then I'm going to use a long skinny screwdriver, insert it into the hole. And with the screwdriver right behind the paddle shifter, I'm going to feel for kind of like a lever to push. And once I find that lever and push, the airbag will release. And then I just need to do the same for the other side. Now I can go ahead and remove the airbag from the steering wheel. So quickly, the airbag is held on by this piece of metal here and here. So when I insert the screwdriver into the hole, what I'm doing is I'm actually pushing on that metal spring and that releases the airbag from the steering wheel. So now I can go ahead and disconnect the airbag from the steering wheel. This yellow connector right here, I'm gonna use a small flathead screwdriver and pop it right off. Next, I need to remove the steering wheel bolt. So I'm gonna use a socket wrench with an HW10 hex socket. I'm gonna place it onto the steering wheel bolt, making sure it's fully seated. And then I'm gonna take a pipe and slide it onto the handle of the ratchet. Now holding down the steering wheel with my right hand, I'm gonna crank down on the pipe to break that bolt loose. And here is the steering wheel bolt. So next, I need to remove this connector here. Again, using a small flathead screwdriver. And once that's removed, I can pull the steering wheel right off. Here is the OEM steering wheel. And here is the brand new W206 style steering wheel. And you can find this on the brand new 2022 Mercedes-Benz C-Class. So this steering wheel here is all custom. It looks awesome. The two bars here. Just check out the quality there. And then you have this section here with the AMG logo. You have the paddle shifters. And this has the carbon fiber on the bottom and on the top with the cool 12 o'clock racing stripe. And on the side are some perforated leather with red stitching. And also for the airbag. So the regular airbag is just plain. This one does have the red stitching, which looks awesome. Oh yeah, one more thing. The old steering wheel, you had to poke through the sides to release the airbag. For the brand new one, you actually have to use a hook like this and then insert it into a hole on the bottom here, pull on a little kind of metal piece, and this will release. 
So now let's go ahead and get this on the car. With the new steering wheel, I'm going to align it with the steering column, making sure it's nice and straight. And then once it's fully aligned, I'm going to reinstall these connectors here. So this one here will plug right in. And this blue wire here will actually slide onto this metal prong right here. Next, I need to prep the steering bolt. I'm going to first clean it off. And then once it's thoroughly clean and dry, I'm going to apply some thread locker just to make sure that it doesn't move once I install it on the steering wheel. Now I'm just going to screw it into place and I'm going to use my socket wrench to torque it down to spec. Okay, so now we have the brand new airbag. I'm just going to connect it into its port. It'll clip right in and now this airbag making sure the horn logo is on the top. I'm just going to push it into place and it'll snap right in. And that's it. Now I just need to reconnect the battery and take this for a test drive. Snowy day. Oh, that looks so good. So I've been driving a while now and this steering wheel feels great in my hands. Everything's nice and tight. Uh, there's no rattling or anything. The perforated leather feels really good on my hands. It's really grippy, but not overly grippy. The carbon fiber, it's slick, but man, it looks so good. And it's kind of dangerous because it's hard to keep my eyes on the road when I'm looking at this awesome steering wheel. And of course, the paddle shifters, oh, they work really well. So now what I want to do is I want to find a parking spot, park the car, and show you guys all the features and functionalities of the buttons. So the buttons for the steering wheel is a combination of buttons and touch sensitivity, which is pretty unique. Also, there's a lot of buttons on the steering wheel, but they will only work if I had those features on my previous steering wheel. So some buttons might work, some might not work because I didn't have that feature in my previous steering wheel. For example, some W205 C-Class facelift models have a lot more buttons on the steering wheel, so they can actually take advantage of some of the new buttons on this brand new steering wheel. So the first section I wanna talk about is this right here. So this is my back button, this is my home button, and right here where it's okay, if I swipe up, it actually is just touch sensitive and it swipes up, it swipes down, and if I push on it, I execute. Pretty cool. So on the other side of the steering wheel, it looks exactly the same, and for my car, it actually works exactly the same as the buttons I just showed you, which only controls the center cluster. For the facelift W205, I believe the left functions are gonna control the center cluster and the right functions are actually gonna control the screen. So that's an added benefit if I had a W205 facelift OEM steering wheel. But unfortunately, I didn't. So both of these features and functions are only gonna control the middle cluster. So next we have the audio section. So this is voice command, answering and canceling calls, and volume. My previous steering wheel had all of these, so these all work on this brand new steering wheel. And the cool thing is the volume is actually a slider, so I could just slide up and slide down, and it'll control the volume with the touch of my finger. Everything else are buttons, but again, really cool. So the last part of the steering wheel is the cruise control and the speed limiter. On my OEM steering wheel, I didn't have those features on the steering wheel. It was actually part of this stock on the side. So these buttons, unfortunately, don't work for me. I can push them all day long and nothing's gonna happen. But of course, my cruise control and speed limiter still works with the OEM stock. But if I had a W205 facelift or another steering wheel that had those features, 
those buttons will work. And one more thing I wanted to mention was when I installed the steering wheel and started up the car, there was no issues whatsoever, no check engine light, no faults. I didn't have to program it. Everything just worked. So overall, I'm really happy with this upgrade. It looks really cool. It feels really nice. Everything just works really well and it really enhances the overall interior of this car. And yes, steering wheel upgrades are usually pretty expensive compared to other mods. But here's how I look at it. Once I put this on the car, I can actually sell my old steering wheel and airbag and be able to make up maybe 30 to 60% of how much I paid for this steering wheel. So at the end of the day, it's actually not too bad if you're able to get a good value on selling your old stuff. And again, if you're interested in more information on custom steering wheels, definitely go check out DMP Car Design. If you don't see anything on their website, just shoot them an email and I guarantee they'll have a steering wheel for your car. Well, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, hit like below. As always, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.